Hey y'all, it's Jamie again. And, and, and Ben. ben. <laughs> With another verse of the day devotional. Uh, yesterday I posted Numbers 1115. It reads, if this is how you're gonna treat me, why don't you just kill me? I can't face this trouble anymore. And I know that's like, Jamie, why did you post something that sounds so heavy, depressing? There's a reason, and it's because this is a bad example. This is a what not to do. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you guys about this verse and a story that went along with it, I think, for me. Uh, Mount Elbert <laughs> is the tallest mountain in Colorado. It's the tallest mountain in the Rockies. It is 14,440 feet tall. Uh, and Ben and I, one, one summer, decided we were going to climb it. We were going to climb all the way to the top, summit the mountain, take a cute picture, and then that was it. With the, Check I mean, mark. We did it. Yeah, you're climbing a 14er. It's not like you just do it for a cute picture. No, climb, I know. But it's an achievement. Climb, climb a 14er. It's an achievement. Yeah. It's hard work. Yes. Um, so I... I was like, yeah, if we're going to climb a 14er, we're going to do the tallest one, Mount Albert, all the way. I didn't realize it was nine miles each way. Uh, and to put that into perspective, uh, the average human walks at three to four miles an hour on a level, flat surface. And this is climbing a mountain. So you can imagine how long this would take. Uh, and you have to peak, be able to rest, and get back down un past the tree line before the afternoon lightning storm happens so you're not in danger. So you, we left our campground, I think, at like 4 or 5 in the morning, yeah. starting the hike. And it was gorgeous, and it was super easy at the bottom, like snakeback trails, uh, and I was going full hog. I was gonna do this. And then I started to get tired. Um, and we got to tree line and there's nothing blocking your vision. 20 minutes into the walk. It was not 20 <laughs> minutes. At tree line, there's nothing blocking your vision. And all I could see was rocks and stairs. And I don't know if you guys have climbed a lot of like multiple floor stairs. It's painful. So, so what she means by stairs is like dirt with wooden planks either put across them or there are no planks and it's just rocks that are that look Stair like stairs steps. yeah that they're just placed there or people have found a path and it's kind of eroded into stair looking things yeah. it's not just like a, i'm gonna climb up a staircase with a railing no 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 no, no. some of these are like eight inches wide some are six some are only 10 inches across like it's crazy, you guys. Um, and we, I was like, okay, okay, okay. I can, I can still do this. I'm not doing great, but I can do it. And I saw, saw what I thought was the peak. And I was like, we're so close. This is great. Look, I can see the end ahead of me. And we got there and then I saw another peak that was higher. And we weren't there yet. And I was like, I, I can't, I can't do this. And I literally sat down on a rock on the side of the trail and told Ben, leave me here. You go summit it. It won't take long for you. You're going to go fast. I know. Uh, and just come get me on your way back down. I can't do it. And Ben said, nope, get up. You're going to do this. So I got up and I kept walking. About 10 minutes later, I sat back down and said, I can't do it. Leave me here. I can't do it. I give up. Ben yelled at me again. Do you want to tell them how many times in total you quit? I think four or five. Oh, Jamie. It was <laughs> much more than four or five. There were 14 times at Okay, least. that's a little exaggerated. No, no not exaggerated <laughs> whatsoever. Jamie would sit down on the side and say, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to do this. You go on without me. And she was angry at me for making her do this. And I said, no, nope, you're going to do it. And I was getting angry too. <laughs> so now, fun story about me. We're going to put that on pause. With this verse, Moses is crying out to God. There's no way I can do this. I give up. 
it's too hard. Don't make me try to finish this. God could have said, okay, you're right. Yeah, I won't make you finish it. But then the Israelites never would have made it to the promised land. God wants us to not wallow in our pity or our mistakes. Jesus told the disciples, get up, let's go. When they were so sad that they were about to lose him. He was about to be put on the cross. He said, yeah, it's sad, but let's get up and go. Come on. And he wants us to pull ourselves up and put one foot in front of the other and continue moving forward. Now, in numbers, God answers Moses and says, okay, here's what I want you to do. Go gather the elders. Let's do this. I'll get you food. Well, I will provide for you. But sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes you don't know how God is answering or, or you're not listening hard enough. You can't understand the message God is trying to send you. And if you don't know what that next step forward for you is, then just let it be this to trust Jesus completely and to pray continually. Continue that conversation with God so that you can eventually see the next step forward. And ultimately, we know that he works all things together for good, like we are told in Romans 8.28. Now, I use Mount Albert as my example for myself. I was able to keep going with the help and encouragement from Ben. And I made it to the summit. Anything that's in my way, I can think about that and go, that was so, so hard. I was so tired and so ready to give up, but it was so worth it that I kept pushing through. So you guys, whatever you're going through right now, whatever is really weighing on you, think back to something that was hard for you. And if you can't think of anything else, reach out for encouragement from somebody you know, your friends, your family, Ben, me, your leaders. Reach out to us, we're here for you. So we will help you summit your next mountain. All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this lovely, lovely day that you have given us. Lord, give us the wisdom to open our eyes and see the mountain ahead of us and be able to have the knowledge to keep putting one foot in front of the other and stay in a continual conversation with you, Lord, that we know we are on the right path with you, Lord. Help us not see all of the despair and the pity and the the, the self uh, sadness, Lord, that we can allow ourselves to fall into. Help us put one foot in front of the other on your path, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.